Hi there, thanks for coming. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect budget in Google Sheets. You can take these basic concepts and apply them to the specifics of your situation, but I think that you'll find that you can take your budgets to the next level by applying the concepts in this video. Our example is based off a shared departmental budget, but you could easily apply the same concepts to a personal budget. So, first, just some basic housekeeping. It tends to work best and fit with standard budget formatting if you use the columns to track your actual budget numbers. It's also a good idea to set up a comments column, which we'll touch on a little bit more further on. Next, let's look at how we have our rows set up. I've called the entire column of categories operating expenses, and then subdivided that into sales and marketing, research and development, and general admin. Then I've broken those categories down even further into subcategories, getting fairly specific, but you can add as many specific categories that work for you and your personal or operational budgets. So now, I'd like to show you a few handy tricks. When I highlight these figures here, you'll notice that the sum automatically appears in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, so you can grab numbers quickly without having to go through the hassle of setting up a formula. Next, let's go over how to create a heat map. First, highlight the values that you want to include in this map. Once you've selected your target values, go up here and click on the Format tab, and then move down and select Conditional Formatting. Now head over to the bar on the right side of the screen, and click on Color Scale. Now change the minimum and maximum values of the heat map. For our minimum value, I'm going to pick white, and then I'm going to set the maximum value as this darker red. You also have to set your midpoint, and can choose between a number, percent, or percentile. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to choose percent. Now the default's 50%, and that works fine for me, so I'm going to click on Done. What this does is give us a very immediate visual representation of the different values on our spreadsheet, with higher values being present in darker colors. Our lowest values will be in white. This is a great way to help people quickly find the information they're looking for. Now, if you're in the scenario that we've set up here and you're sharing a budget, you might want to protect certain elements of that budget. To do that, highlight what you want to protect, Go up here to Data, and choose Protected Sheets and Ranges. Now over on the right-hand side, you can name the protected sheet, and then click on Set Permissions. For this particular sheet, I'm going to say that this is a sheet that only I can edit. Now I'm going to share this sheet with another account, and show you what happens if I try to access it from that account. When I try to click into this cell, it's going to say that I'm trying to edit a protected sheet. This helps you know that your data won't get changed by someone who really shouldn't be adjusting it. Finally, let's look at this comment section. Now we did not protect this section, meaning that the users we've shared it with can still make comments in this column, which is a great way for other involved parties to make notes, suggestions, or ask for clarifications on a budget. I hope this tutorial will be helpful the next time you need to set up a budget. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.